Hello, hi, welcome. This is Dr. Hadi here, and you are watching Medical Globe. Today topic is uh, today's topic is from biochemistry, that is classification of amino acids on the basis of nutrition nutritional value. We have already discussed another topic on classification of amino acid, but that was on the basis of polarity. In biochemistry, the amino acids can be classified in four ways. The first one, classification on the basis of polarity. And second, on the basis of R group. Third, on the basis of nutritional value. And fourth, on the basis of metabolic role. So today is the today's topic is classification of amino acids on the basis of the nutritional value. So let's start. The amino acids in this category are classified into three subgroups, three categories. One is essential amino acid, second one is non-essential, and third one is conditionally essential. These are three categories, three types of amino acids. The, the first essential amino acids, also called as indispensable amino acids. Look, we know very well that nothing in the world is perfect. Our body is so well properly organized, highly organized. It is doing its job very well, but still it has some limitations. Our body can synthesize lots of different categories, numerous compounds, but still our body cannot synthesize all compounds. Give, I will give you one example. There are 300 amino acids. Out of 300 amino acids, only 20 amino acids are the part of our protein, structural protein. These 20 amino acids are called standard amino acids. And among these 20 amino acids, some of the amino acids can be synthesized by our body. So, you don't need to take these amino acid from outside the body. It's okay, fine, your body can synthesize it. But there are some amino acids among these 20 standard amino acids which our body cannot synthesize. So, our, so we need to take these amino acids from the diet outside of the body, taking different diet food. You, yes. So these amino acids are called as essential amino acids. These are essential. These are very important for your body because your body cannot synthesize and your body need these amino acids. This is, this is not the, the way you, you can't say that if my body cannot synthesize, so maybe our body don't need these amino acids. This is, this is not proper way to say. The, your body need still you have to take it from the diet. So now we need to remember the name of these amino acids only for the examination purpose, especially for the multiple choice question that a student should remember the name of the amino acids and he or she should decide which amino acid belongs to which category. So here is the name. There are 10 amino acids which fall in that category. The first one is histidine, valine, isoleucine, tryptophan, alanine, lysine, leucine, methionine, threonine, phenylalanine. Okay, fine. Now, how to memorize these amino acid name, the name of these amino acids? Because most of students, they complain that we just forget the name, give us some magic. I don't have any such kind of magic, but we can use mnemonics. Mnemonics can help us memorize the name of the amino acid. So what is the mnemonic? Here is the H vital LMP. You can pronounce it as high vital lamp because vital stands for something very important. And lamp you know very well. But you need to add some more extra alphabets for your extra help. That is here T comes twice and L comes twice. On the top of one T, I will write H. I will write H because threonine is the amino acid that start with T and there is H. So here I will write H so that it become TH and with TH we uh, memorize it as T. 
creonine the th now okay the next t is tryptophan uh, where is like here try it, it it start with t and r so i will write r here and then l comes twice so what we do l l l one l is for lysine and other one is for leucine if this l start with if this amino acid name start with l and followed by e so i will write small e here so it become a lamp so this is for leucine and then the second n is for lysine here i will write y now it we got the name lysine leucine m stands for m stands for here we have methionine methionine because you can see there is m methionine and the p stands for phenylalanine you can add one h small h here because there is another amino acid with the name of proline pro that p r o proline so proline is is not essential amino acid however phenylalanine is essential amino acid so you need to write one h also here okay so we got the mnemonics now come here what is this semi essential one is essential one is semi essential semi essential are those amino acids which are essential in one category of the people and it is non essential in another category let me tell you what, what is this children and adults children and adults children and adults this is something important that uh, we must read. children and adults there are two amino acids among these 10 amino acids which can be synthesized very easily by the adults adults can synthesize but these two amino acids cannot be synthesized by the children and what are those amino acids these can be memorized with mnemonic ah oh which is ah we forgot oh so here a h a for alanine h for histidine alanine and histidine these two amino acids, these two amino acids are non-essential in case of adults but in case of children they are they are essential children cannot synthesize these two however adult can synthesize these two amino acid so we will give another name semi essential so for for the sake of simplicity we have mentioned their name in the essential category because they are really essential in case of adult but in case of children children cannot uh, cannot synthesize these two amino acid therefore we have just uh, add the word the, these two amino acid under the heading of essential amino acid okay now come to the second category that is non-essential or dispensable non-essential these are those amino acids that can be synthesized by our body that can be synthesized by our body synthesized by our body so you don't need to take these amino acids from the diet it's fine okay now what are the name of those amino acids if there are 20 amino acids 10 amino acid came here so the remaining 10 will be non-essential so you don't need to memorize any mnemonics if you memorize the 10 amino acids then any other amino acid that will come out of these 10 amino acid it will be definitely belong to the non-essential like like we have glycine glycine is not mentioned here glycine and then we have serine serine it is not mentioned here and then we have cysteine cysteine cys asp asp asparagin and aspartic acid two amino acid from asp and then we have glut glut 
glutamine glutamic acid that is these two amino acid and then we have tyrosine and proline tire you know the tire of a vehicle you can memorize the name tire tyrosine and pro so these we just add two here glu glue right two because glue glue there will be two glue one is glutamine one is glutamic acid aspar asparagin aspartic acid so you will add number two here four amino acid five six seven eight nine and ten Oh, fine you guys got the name of the these uh, non-essential amino acids as well now come to the, the next the last category that is conditionally essential amino acids there are some amino acids that our body can synthesize in normal situation so these amino acids are non-essential look this time this time my body can synthesize these 10 amino acids fine so for my body these are non-essential but sometime in case of some injury accident burn case pathological condition i should write here pathological condition because we are human being so we can't avoid pathological condition pathological condition some disease accident anything surgery so during the pathological condition the demand of some amino acids are increased the demand of some acids are increased and our body cannot synthesize these amino acid with that fast rate in this case those amino acid become essential those amino acids which were non-essential they become essential in the pathological condition and what are the name of those amino acids that are non-essential but become essential in pathological condition they these are i have uh, memorized it with a mnemonic that is rj sister glue pro tire rj rj sister if you memorize this sister you can write sister and then there is a glue that is pro and then tire you can memorize this word rj for arginine that is for arginine sister for cysteine c i s t e i n e it's not s cysteine you can just memorize if you Memorize the word sister, so cysteine will come on your tongue very easily. Cysteine. And then glue. Glue is very special word. Glue, glue. So glutamine and glutamic acid. And then we have proline. Proline. And tire for tyrosine. So here we got the three category of amino acid that was the lecture very small simple and very easy i hope you like it if you like give us a like and also subscribe the channel so that any video that we record shall come to you first and then also share this video especially in this condition that all of the educational institutions are closed keep us remember us in your prayers have a smile on your face bye bye tata -ta.